Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome to another episode in this Discord.js tutorial series. In this episode, I have created a list of things I would like the bot to do. So, first of all, I would like my bot to have a prefix. Then I would like to create certain commands for our bot. Then I would like to show server-specific information. Then I would like to only answer to a specific channel. And then if a user tries to type a command in another channel, maybe we show an error or we do nothing at all, then we can create admin commands. And basically what I mean by that is we can have so commands that only when the admin types it, we give the actual result. But if someone else does it, then it shows an error. And then we also would like to have a fail safe. So if they enter a command, and the command doesn't exist, or he misspelled the command, then we can show again an error. So yeah, with that said, let's get into the video and see how we can do all of those. So first of all, let's see how we can add a prefix to our bot. So let's go on our Discord and let's say every time I want to call my bot, I'd like to call it with a prefix. And by prefix, usually the bots will have a character before you enter the command's name. So this character and then, for example, help or this character or this character and help. And you get the point. This right here is what differentiate our bot from other bots. So we can add a prefix like this one right here. Now let's see how we can do that. So basically how the prefix works is we can see if the message starts with a certain character. So let's see how we can do that. So first of all, let's comment our previous code in our message. And then what we can do is we can say, first of all, I would like to add our message.content into a value. So I can say message equals message.content, just to make it simpler. Then I would also like to specify my prefix. So I can say let prefix equals to, and then I can add this character. Now your prefix can be whatever you like. And then lastly, what we can do is we can say if message starts with and if the string, our message basically, starts with this character, then do everything else. Now, if it doesn't, we don't really want to do anything. It just means it's a simple message. So what we can do is, first of all, we can extract the command from the message. So we can say const command equals and then we can do message dot slice and we would like to slice the prefix dot length. So slice the first X characters from our string. So if our prefix is, for example, test, then slice the first four characters and we got, we, and we get the length from the string right here. And then also you do that, I would like to split the space and then get the first part. So let's test it and see if it works. So what we can do is we can say console.log command. So now let's test it out. So let's do node and then index.js and we get an error. Okay, so I have to add my token. So let's rerun our script and let's test it out. So let's go on Discord and type our prefix and then a command. So let's say, for example, help. Now this should console.log our command, which is help. So there we go, it worked. Now let's try without the prefix so we can make sure it does work correctly. So we can say hello or we can say help and we don't get any other commands displayed. So it does work. Now what I want to do is check if the command is help and do a certain thing or if the command says stats and do a certain thing. So basically I would like to have a list of commands and then verify what command this is equal to and then do a certain thing. To do that, we can use the switch statement by giving it the command. Then what we can do is we can add this case and we can say if the command is equal to help, then do a certain thing. So we can say console.log something. Then we can add more cases. So then we have to break first of all. So after we finish doing something, then we would like to break. And then what we can do is check something else. So case and then stats. So in case the command is stats, then we can do something else. And then again, break. 
and then we can use as many commands as, as we would like to have. So this is how we can check which command our command is referred to. And then based on that, do a certain thing. So let's test it out. So let's say in case it says help, then we can send to the channel, this is a help command. And then in case of stats, we can say this is a stats command. Just to check it really works. So what we have to do now is stop our application from running and rerun our application and test it out. So what I would like to do is I'll add our prefix and then help. And then as you see, this is a help command. And then we can do stats and it says this is a stats command. So that's great, it does work. So basically here you add what you, these commands should do. Now the next thing I would like to do is display server information. So now in case the command is stats, I would like to display some status for our server. So let's see how we can do that. So the next thing I would like to do is console log from our message the guild information and see what we get. So our message has a value called guild and from that I would like to get certain information. So let's run our application then go back on discord and run our command and then see what we get on our console. So here we get multiple information about our guild. But if I scroll down, as you will see, there is a value called member count and it says two. And if I go on my server, there is actually two people. So there is me and then there is a bot. And there we go. So that's how you can get the member count. So using that, we can say message.channel dot send and then we can send a certain message so we can say this server has and then the amount of users and then members so we can say this server has x amount of members so yeah let's test it and see if it works so let's go back on our discord and then say stats and as you see this server has two members so great it does work now as i showed you you can console the message.guild and then see what other information about the server you can get and show that information as well. Now let's see how we can only accept messages from a certain channel or respond to a certain channel. So let's see how we can do that. So the first thing I would like to do is console log the message and see if we can get some information about our channel and verify which channel the message was sent from. So I can say console log message, there we go. Now let's run our script again and we can type whatever and there we go. So we got certain information. Now, as you see, there is a value called channel ID. So using this ID, we can verify the channel and I'll show you in a bit how we can get the channel ID. So yeah, let's get the channel ID and let's go back and we can say let channel and then equals to message.channelid and let's see how we can find a channel id so to find the channel id what we can do is right click then copy link then copy paste the link somewhere and then the last parameter and then the last parameter of our url is the channel id so let's copy that and what we can say is we can have a verified channel or let's say bot channel and then the bot channel is this channel right here. And what we can do is we can say if channel equals the bot channel, then work. But if it doesn't, then we can display an error message. So we can say else send a message to that channel and say this is not a bot channel. Now, this is just an example. You can do whatever you like. So in a future episode, I'll show you how you can send messages to a certain user and then delete the message that they send. So what we can do if he doesn't send a message to the bot channel is we can delete that message and then send him a personal message to his account that he didn't send the message to the correct channel, for example, and then tell him send that message instead to that channel. Now, another thing that you would like to do is send a message to a certain channel. So now what we can do is instead of sending a reply to the channel that the message was sent from, what we can do is get all the channels 
that our bot has access to and then find the channel that we want to send the message to. So to do that, we can do client. Then from our client, we want to get our channels from cache. And then from our cache, what we can do is we can get, and then we can get the bot channel, and then we can send the message to that channel. Now, this is a pretty long function. And what we can do is shrink it down. So let's see how we can do that. So we can say const send and then message and then we can get the message and then have this command within that command and then send the message like that so by using this function we replace this function right here so let's do that so now let's replace every function that has message.channel.send with our new function and let's put it here so let's run our script again then go back to discord and then run our command so stats and the bot says this server has two members now what if we go on our test channel and we said the bot should only answer to the general channel so if we run a command to our test channel so for example stats then we did not get an answer here from our bot but if we go on our general channel it says this is not a bot channel now that's because right here we have used our send message but that was for demonstration purposes so as you saw it did answer to our general channel nonetheless but in this case what you should do is answer to the channel that the user sent the message so this one we can leave it to as it was so message.channel.send and there we go so now we saw how we can send a channel specific messages and how we can receive channel specific messages now let's see how we can have admin commands by the way we have already done this our fail safe is basically this command right here so if something goes wrong then we have this command now in case none of them are true we can add a default and by default if none of them are true we can send a message saying this is not a valid command and let's test it to make sure it works so let's run our script again go back and then if we do a command that doesn't exist it will say this is not a valid command so we just added another fail save so lastly what i would like to do is go through the admin commands and see how we can have commands that only the admin users can use so first of all how can tell a user is admin or not so first thing we could do is we can verify if the user that sends the message has our username so the admin username but what if you have multiple admin so if you have multiple admins then you can either check from a list of usernames so i'll show you both of the cases or you can check if that user has a certain role so let's go on our server settings and create a role which will play our admin so we can create a role and then we can say admin and then we can make that purple and save changes and let's give that role to our admin basically so now first of all let's go and see how we can verify by our username so first of all i would like to console our message and see what other information we get so let's do console.log and then message. then let's type whatever and let's go back so to verify if a certain user sent that message then what we can do is we can say if our username plus our discriminator is equal to the user we have already defined then do that certain thing so now let's add our admin commands so let's say we want to, to use this stat command only if the user is an admin so what i would like to do is copy those two remove them from here another if statement and for now i'll leave it empty and this will basically check if our user is an admin and then if he is only then he will have access to these commands so now let's see how we can verify so if we go back on our console as you saw we can get the username and the discriminator so let's copy them for now and let's say let admin equals to and then we can put my username here something like that and then i can say if admin 
and then equals to and then I can get the message.author.username then add the hashtag and then message.author.discriminator as we saw right here and then if he is then do that so let's run our script let's go on our discord and let's say that now we do get an answer but let's try to change the username and see if we still get an answer so i'll remove michael and as you'll see this time i'll not get an answer there we go now i would like to have a fail safe so in case he is not an admin i would like to show a fail safe message so let's see how we can do that so we can get this right here and we can add, add that to a value so we can say let and then is admin and then do that and then we can remove that and then what we can say is go through each case and if he is an admin do that otherwise we would like to send a message that you are not an admin now there's probably a better way to do that but for now i'll leave it as it is just to keep it simple so right here we are checking if he's an admin then do that otherwise we are telling him he is not an admin and by doing that what we can do is remove that switch statement from here and just add this case right here so case stats and then do that now like i said what if we have multiple admin now to check if he is an admin within an array of admins so if we have an array then what we can do is we can say if the admin actually if admins and then we can get this string and we can say is admin and he is an admin if this right here this string is within the strings of admin so if this string is in our array then he is an admin so now to verify if our user is an admin based on the role that he has so i have created a role and i have attached it to my user which is the admin role so what we can do is we can say let is admin so have an updated value with the admin and then from our message we can get the member and from our member we can get his roles and then get the cache and then we can do dot find and we want to check if the role and then role dot name is equal to and then the admin role which is the admin and based on that we can see if our member has an admin role within his roles and based on that we know he is an admin so i made a mistake right here we have to do message and then and not message so msg and not message as the message is the actual message so this is a type error so let's try it out again let's go back on our discord and run stats again and as you see we got this server has two members now if i delete the role from my account and run the stats again it says you are not an admin so it does work so with that said we just completed our list so yeah that's it for this video let me know down in the comments what would you like to see next also if you enjoyed this video hit the like button as it helps the youtube algorithm a lot and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos by the way the code will be down in the description so make sure you check it out and yeah with that said see you in the next video